Yo guys, welcome back to my channel and Puss Ultra. First off, I want to say make sure you follow the link in the description to my Instagram and check out the 500 subscribers giveaway contest going on right now. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you're already one step closer to winning. I'm giving away three custom spray painted All my Funko Pops. That's a gold, uh, a, a silver, and a bronze. So guys, make sure you're you're following the the link and follow the instructions to the T all right guys so this is a special video it's not like um, you've seen these before on my channel because they're freaking new and I just really had to share it with you guys because I'm in love with it it's a new line of collectible toy that I am just loving from the packaging from the art to just everything that you get with this item so as you can see here I have six of these things there's six different ones currently in uh, series one I mean series one wave one okay so uh, we're gonna start this off this line is called rainbows in pieces so basically what this uh, line is about uh, 2019 was basically like the year of the unicorn and rainbow and slime and poop and all that weird creepy rainbow crap whatever and this is this line's answer to all of that and basically it's rainbows but they're like deceased and in pain and it's just pretty freaking cool so as you can see look at the artwork each unicorn comes with a collectible card and it comes in this freaking awesome dumpster packaging like look at the handles you know where the uh, the dumpster put its forks in and lifts up the containers like guys it's just super awesome packaging uh shout out to you guys at rainbows and pieces uh shout out to you the art director and all you guys who worked on this because it's freaking awesome i can't wait to collect all of these guys i'm i'm going for it <laughs> uh just hopefully there's no exclusive that i won't be able to get but anyways guys it's awesome we're gonna start this off by looking at this one this guy's name is jim bones Okay, so on all of the back of the package, there's like this little poem that I'm going to read for you guys. It says, The rainbows in pieces, your dead uni friends. Cute little critters who meet tragic ends. Gonna fight the undead and escape with their heads. These unis play for keeps, not for pretends. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's pop this thing open. Take out Jim Bones. Alright, so here we have Jim Bones. You can see there, he's a skeleton of a unicorn, and he's sitting in what is unicorn blood, which is a rainbow. The bases do come off like that. That is rainbow unicorn blood, guys. Like I told you, this thing is pretty awesome. I really, really like the artwork. But that is Jim Bones. What else you get in the box? You get this certificate of death, which basically outlines all of the unicorns in series one okay so as you can see there's 12 on there but currently in wave one there's only six that has been released uh, the rest will be released later on in 2020 all right so as let's put this away and let's take out his collectible card and see what it says so this is a collectible card it has like that uh, that rainbow foil effect on it and it reads Jim Bones dead Jim Bones lived a life behind bars stole him some watches diamonds and cars his nickname was snitches so they gave him some stitches bleeding out rainbows beneath the stars so yeah guys super awesome I love how they're super creative and the poems that go with these things are freaking awesome but that is Jim Bones he is number one in the series all right let's move on to uh the crowd favorite that i heard right here is undead ned as you can see undead ned's box is definitely missing a piece because i got it from amazon and all i can say is amazon <laughs> but let's take undead ned out the box show you guys undead ned he comes on some dirt and he has a little tombstone which is pretty cool because he's undead Ned so there you have it there's undead Ned 
He is definitely a unicorn zombie. All right, let's read his card. All right, Undead Ned. Undead Ned tried himself a juice cleanse. Mixed grapes and pears and fruits by the tens. Felt his gut start to cave, then rose up from his grave. Undead Ned is eating all his friends. <laughs> so there's his card. Undead Ned is number seven in the series. There we go. All right, let's go here to Bobby Bruises. Bobby Bruises is definitely uh, a crossbreed between a unicorn and a llama, as you can obviously see, or maybe just a unicorn dressed as a llama. Here we go. Bobby Bruises. As you can see, take a look at Bobby Bruises. He definitely looks like a llama unicorn. <laughs> let's put him right there and let's read his card nobody loves attention like this llama he loves the spotlight and also the drama sure loves to talk smack always on the attack got kind of mouthy now he's crying for mama <laughs> there is his card and that was his poem let's keep moving on this was actually number 12 in the series so this is actually like the last one in the uh, series one all right next up we have Danville can you guys guess why his name is Danville <laughs> but guys once again that packaging that awesome packaging guys super awesome pop this bad boy out and let's get out good old Danville <laughs> as you can see there's Danville he has an anvil where his uh, horn should be and his horn is like through his jaw oh my goodness uh yeah <laughs> all right so let's read his danville had himself a thick old skull he wasn't so bright he was rather dull a weight fell on his head and now he's quite dead where did his horn go through his jaw hole guys <laughs> like i told you this is like the perfect artistic creative and weird toy for me like it's freaking awesome guys i love every aspect of this line and i can't wait i can't wait to get more all right next up we have happy trappy not trappy like trap house music and whatnot guys <laughs> but this is happy trappy as you can see now you can tell why they call him happy trappy he is definitely stuck in a bear trap <laughs> oh actually let me pull these back you might guys not might not be able to see him up there, but let's just pull him back just a little bit. All right, let's keep going. So let's read Happy Trappy's card. Happy loved the great outdoors, hunting and tracking on all fours. He laid down a snare to catch him a bear. What's that bleeding out his pores? <laughs> there is the artwork on the card, as you can see. There we go. I guess he uh, set a trap and accidentally stepped in it. <laughs> All right, so last up in the um, series one, wave one. Oh, also, Happy Trappy was actually number. What was that? He was actually number two. All right, last but not least is Aerodynamic. I really like the play on words that they they use. I'm telling you guys, I just love it. All right, let's take out Aerodynamic and see what he's all about. Oh my god, poor unicorn, poor unicorn. Ah, looked like Pocahontas went hunting. <laughs> but this is Arrow Die Namek. All right, let's read this card. Poor little Arrow had a point to make. Don't hurt others, don't cause heartache. Arrow felt a sharp pain, a trickle down his mane. Someone wants to eat some unicorn steak. <laughs> Oh, poor Arrow. Arrow is number five in Series 1, Wave 1. Well, guys, that's it. Take a look at these unicorns. Like, it's freaking cool. Just look at them. Uh, I can't wait to the other ones release. I saw videos of some other, other stuff out there, and the whole line just looks pretty awesome. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to check these out, you can find these at Hot Topic and online at Amazon right now, guys. Make sure you cop these. These are pretty freaking cool. Nice to have out of box or even keep it in its awesome packaging. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I upload new content. And always, always stay weird. Oh wait, wait, hold on guys. You might be wondering why I'm wearing Plus Ultra in this headband here. Well guys, I recently bought my tickets for Fan Expo Dallas and I'm super excited to go back this year. I went last year and they had a huge My Hero Academia panel and they did a live reading there for us and guys it was awesome. It was packed out and I really enjoyed it and I'm planning on going this year again. So guys, if you're there, if you're going to go to Fan Expo Dallas, hit me up in the comments and let me know. Maybe we can meet up. But anyways guys, stay weird and stay flexing. Peace.